You are in the hour with Minister Cappy. And this hour, I think it's, I don't know what time it is, but you know, we won't worry about that right now. I want to make some things clear to you guys out there, uh, to everybody. I, you know, I'm not real sure about some things with uh, family and friends and everything like that. You know, I've just been reflecting on some things and thinking about some things with, um, you know, uh, you know, like some old school friends and buddies I used to hang out with, you know, that I thought were my friends. And, you know, just come to find out, you know, when you look at life and look at reality, uh, you, you know, things, you know, the veil becomes it becomes lifted and you begin to see shit for, and people and everything for what they really are and for what it really is, you know. That's one thing I've learned. God has shown me that, you know. Really has, buddy. Really has. And uh, I just want to say to the people that, you know, you are very well aware of who you are. And this is going to be family and friends. Um, you're very well of who you are. I don't know what you guys think about me. And if you think that I'm crazy. If you think that I've lost my mind. If you think that I'm bitter. If you think that I don't know what it is that you people think. I don't know what it is that you people want from me. But at the end of the day, all I want is like justice for my child. Justice for CJ. Justice for Lincoln. Justice for Marquez. You know, I've had three... You know, kids killed here, and plus a granddaughter, you know, uh, and I try to keep her separated from that because there's is a different little story there, but I do believe there's some foul play in that area, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that to myself because I've become a cons conspiracy theorist. That's what people like to think about me. People like to call me a conspiracy theorist. Uh, if I'm not a conspiracy theorist, I'm crazy. I, I, you know, I'm this, that, you know, and I'm so tired of that. The world treats me that way, and that's how I feel, you know, and when my own family does that, I don't know what it is with even my family. I've had family delete me, you know, with no explanation as if I really did something to them, and, and I didn't do anything to them at all. So I have to say, I have to assume or, or uh, that it's something that was based off of Facebook, because that's the only fucking internet, uh, uh, social media type of shit that I really operate on because I don't know about any other shit. But man, like, you know, so y'all and y'all know what I'm talking about. You know who you are. You're like, you, did, you know, I ain't did shit to none one of you motherfuckers that deleted me. I ain't did shit to y'all personally. So how goddamn offended were you to delete me? Now, don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. I understand. Hey, I've deleted some motherfuckers too. Because I just didn't simply like your fake ass shit. Because I think a lot of people's fake. Yeah, it's just me. But you know, but it's not. But it comes from studying. It comes from researching. It comes from. I, I'm, a, I'm a people observer. I study people. Uh, that's just one of my God given. You know, gifts, talents, or whatever. I don't call it a talent because it's. Shit. I don't even like the shit. But I automatically read people. I read through everybody. And so even when they're lying. And I sit up there and let a motherfucker lie. And I'm tired of doing that shit. I said this earlier on the post. I let a motherfucker lie when I know they're lying. And they know they're lying. But what gets to me is, motherfucker, you know you lying. And, then, and I give everybody an opportunity to tell the truth. Especially my kids, boy. I used to, and I would tell them, look, son, I'm going to give you the opportunity to, to tell the truth. You don't have to lie. You know what they would rather do? Fucking lie. You the one I got now. You know what we rather do? Fucking lie. I don't understand that. But uh I got some other stuff going on in my thing here. I'm just I just got a call or a text or something that I need to respond to. But anyway, I just want to share some shit with y'all, bro. I'm not crazy, man, and I'm tired of people trying to make me be that way. And, you know, I, I, you know, again, I feel like we're, which I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all think, nigga, because at the end of the day, what I say about my child and how I feel, you know, and, and what has happened, what has took place and what I have spoken out on, um, bro, what help put yourself in my shoes. I like I told I don't know what the fuck else to do. I'm just doing what I and I really don't do a lot, but I do enough. I still, like I said, I don't get on here. Hopping and talking about what I what I am doing and, and the shit, that, but I do that. I do I do. I'm doing my part, you know. But 
I just want people to know, man, Charles Pettit Sr. is not crazy. I mean, my right mind is 2020. Motherfucker, it's a uh, goddamn November something. Uh, you know, I might not remember that shit. Cause, you know. But anyway, uh, but I don't know what it takes for you. I stopped counting my age at 27, so I'm still 27 years old. I've been 27 for 10 motherfucking years. Uh, so, um, if you want to know my real age, I got to get a calculator to motherfucking figure that shit out. Anyway, you know, but, um, but I'm just, man, this is uh, Minister Cappy's Hour. A rant for the time being, and uh, you know, last time we had a guest, and my cousin was a guest, and we're gonna we're gonna get him back on here, and we're gonna have some great conversations. We're gonna bring some stuff to you guys uh, that's gonna be very very interesting, very very interesting. We're gonna bring you some great news, and so that's in the works. We got another, in fact, we got another project coming up too. I have something that I'm working on that I want to um, that is that I, I'm not gonna even speak about it right now, but I've got some shit. I'm working on uh, to really, man, I am just, I'm trying to, uh, my goal is uh, independency. My goal is self working for self and, uh, you know, and give it back to the community and helping my people and in, 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 in whichever way, shape, fashion or form that I can, you know, uh, you know, I, I do that and I, and I do my part every day. And again, I don't get on here now. So what I do, cause I'm not a person that, that talk about my good that I do. I don't have. I don't need nobody's attention, nobody's validation, and nobody's. I don't need none of y'all shit uh, to to uh, to glory to to make me feel good about what I do about for people because I do what I do because of my heart. God says because of my heart. You know what I'm saying? Because God is in me. I know where God is. I know that I don't worship that God in the sky. I don't worship this. This God that that sits on the throne or this God. I don't do all that shit, nigga. I know who God is. And that's where a lot of you motherfuckers are fucked up at because you don't know God, even though your mouth says so. But you don't know God. You don't. Your mouth says so, but you don't know God. Because, you know, if you're going to steady acknowledge some physical being uh, on a throne somewhere in a goddamn motherfucking sky... You ain't read the Bible. And that's what, ooh, that's a, boy, see, that's the whole, I'm turning into a sermon here. I don't even want to go here. But I'm going I'm to let it be there. I'm going to let it be right there. Yeah, my cigarette went out. Give a fuck, yeah, I smoke cigarettes. Nigga, shit, man, what? Nigga, a lot of y'all be judging off that shit, too. He smokes cigarettes. He do this, he do that. You motherfuckers are so goddamn judgmental and contradictive. Hell, motherfucker, I'm contradictive, so I know a lot of y'all. Anyway, this is Minister Cappy's ramp. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is Lord and Savior. <laughs> no, bro, but I, I mean, study me, man. Google me, shit. Y'all see what kind of life I live, bro. Go look at all them silly-ass videos I made. I did all that shit on purpose so people... Try to read me, cause I read people. So I, I be giving people the opportunity to go read me, go study me, go look at a lot of the bullshit I do. And then all you gotta do is put two and two together, motherfucker. I know what I talk about. Might to my, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna fucking uh, call certain people out. But I be wanting to do that shit a lot, bro. But I be trying to coexist with everybody, Lord. I be trying to coexist with the average motherfucker. But tell him it's hard. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta keep it a hundred. I got to keep it 100. I love y'all, man. I don't love all of y'all, but I love a lot of y'all, bro. Because I, I know, because, because again, I am a, an observer of human beings. I am a reader of human beings. I, I can, I'm not the nigga that's going to say I love everybody because I'll be lying to your ass. I don't love everybody, but I love the right people, the righteousness of the people. I, 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 I you know, I love beyond what, display because I'm such an energy reader like I don't I don't even know how to explain that shit but I I don't I'm not the nigga that love everybody so that's I don't so you'll never hear me talk about that all the time I love you I love you love you I ain't that nigga but I know I love you though but you know and I know this too I don't get the same love back that I give <laughs> Hallelujah Lord thank you we're gonna end this conversation right I don't get the same love back that I give Y'all. Jesus Christo, render, render, the skin.